jail today. How many got saved? How many are you seeing saved? I said as many as are wanting to get saved. I'm not in the saving business. God is. But I know he will not cast you out if you're wanting to be saved. Call the Lord and be saved. I mean, get saved when you go to get pride. As many as want to. Which is usually none. I mean, get saved at the jail today. As many as respond to the word of God and want to come to God. And many times that's not. We're not the Savior. Amen. We're the seed sowers. Nothing wrong with the seed. As long as KJV seed. Amen. Nothing wrong with the seed. And what he's asking you though is, we're the sower now. Is there anything wrong with the sower? There wasn't nothing wrong with the sower in that text. Right. But we're the sowers now, so that there could be something wrong with the sowers, even though we got the right seed. So let's deal with us as sowers this here again, give us a verse of invitation song. And maybe there's some people need to come and say, Lord, I'm going to take source of life material if I can't get there myself, whether it's to the military or whether it's to the jail. You may have a loved one in jail. Lord, maybe I'm going to do something like Bill Barnes and his family's doing. I'm going to pray about getting me up. I talk about evangelistic tent. Talk about a funeral home tent. I'm going to go somewhere where they sell, have a flea market, and I'm going to set up gospel tracks. And I'm going to hand them out. Amen. Whatever the Lord spoke to your heart about. And I appreciate what he said about all these folks saying, well, there's some saved Catholics, there's some saved. Let me tell you something. And I'm not a Baptist writer either, but I'll tell you what. There ain't but one kind of salvation they buy. Amen. There ain't but one way to get saved. Amen. Amen. And I do not believe that you can be saved and stay at a messed up Catholic church Amen. or a messed up Baptist church. That's right. Amen. You won't do it long. Because I don't believe God will make you stay there. And I believe you'll want out. And I believe in all your ways, acknowledge Him and He'll direct your path to a good one. I believe that. I don't believe God saved you and put you in a dead church. That's right. I know He didn't save you to keep you in a Catholic or a Pentecostal church. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And He didn't even save you to keep you in about three quarters of the Baptist church. That's right. Yeah, or that. It's not just go to the church of your choice. You better buy the church of His choice. Amen. I don't care if you have to drive 50 miles one way. Amen. Amen. This convenient stuff yeah. has destroyed a lot of people who said that God saved them. praying for Beth. She's got to have cesarean delivery. That's what they've told her. Thursday morning during this meeting, about 7.30. That's my daughter. This will be her third child, little girl. She's got two boys. And she's been concerned about the whole pregnancy. We've prayed about her. Everything looks good. Matter of fact, the baby's real big. They're going to sing this morning. If you need to come, you come on. Whatever God spoke your heart about, I won't fill in the blanks you fill it in. Whatever. If you lost you this morning, I know there's lost people this morning. If you lost you this morning, why don't you come call the Lord and ask Him to save you? Ask Him to forgive me and save you. He'll do it. He'll do it. You've heard enough gospel right there in that message. And most of the people probably who are sitting here this morning that need to be saved can tell you how to be saved. Right. Amen. They're just rebellious and stubborn and horrible. And yeah, they will not humble themselves before God. Let's sing.
someone who said I didn't have time I wasn't given an opportunity to respond 